What do you do when you have a client who has multiple offers and they want to promote them all at once? Well, that's what we're talking about today in this episode of Online Confidential, where I take you behind the scenes to talk about secret ad manager business. So in my Elite Ad Manager certification, one of our members recently had a client come on board and they had multiple offers and they wanted to promote them all at once. Now that can be fine. It can work as long as they have enough budget to be able to adequately promote each offer. If your client doesn't, then you're going to be diluting down the results, which is what happened here. There was three or four different offers and they wanted to put some budget between all of them. So this poor ad manager was scattering between all of these different um, offers, all these different audiences, doing her best to be able to get results. And the client can often get frustrated because they're not getting results as was happening in this case. So as we teach in the Elite Ad Manager certification and as um, our ad manager was able to do with this client, dial them in to focus on one offer. And then when you do that, that's when you can put budget in to and get the results that you need, that data coming back so that you can make informed decisions and also ideally start getting results. Because if we have too many offers on the go, then, and we have a limited ad budget as most people do, We need to put a bit into this offer, a bit into this offer, a bit into this offer. And then we've got ad sets in there as well, multiple ad sets typically. So again, that budget for each of those is getting split between each of these ad sets. We're not giving Facebook the space that it needs, the budget that it needs to be able to get those results in for us, to be able to bring in data that we can go, aha, okay, low click through right here, or we need to test this audience, or we've only spent $20 in two days and we're anticipating it's going to cost $50 per lead. So that's going to take five days just for this one ad set, but then it doesn't work. Okay. And then you've got to go back and go, okay, so another five days while we refine all of this. If you have a client that has multiple offers, it's really best to sit down with them and focus on one first of all, and give that a good run, like a month minimum. If you can give it two months, then that's even better. Because like we were just saying, five days to run the ads, to be able to go, okay, this has worked, this hasn't worked, let's try this, let's do this new copy and creative, let's test another audience, et cetera, et cetera. You need time and um, money to be able to get the data back in. So if your client is saying, we've got this, 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 and this, we want all of them to run, just go, oh, let's steady on, okay? What's one um, offer that we can go out with? And I would be asking them, what's the most valuable offer? What is the one that's gonna move the needle for your business and bring in more sales, okay? So if you've got a client that's, um, you know, wanting to run ads to hire people, right? Like it could be like a chiropractic practice, and they want to get more chiropractors working for them. I know I've been to my chiropractor and he said it was such a struggle to try and get new um, you know, chiropractors in. He was looking to employ someone and it was really hard. So they'll often want to run some recruitment ads, okay? But is that moving the needle for them? In some point it will. It may help them to open up a new practice. But the immediate need typically is for more sales and more revenue, okay? So I would be asking a client, which one is the most valuable? And let's focus on that one first, because otherwise, if we go out with so many funnels, we're going to be diluting down the ad budget. And unfortunately, what that will also do is dilute the results. And so if your client is not getting results, then they're going to get a bit antsy. Okay, they're going to get antsy which is not going to make you feel terribly good as well. You're going to feel the pressure then to do more. Okay. You'll work more hours. You'll hustle more. You'll create more images in Canva and videos in Canva and spend your weekends trying to get these campaigns to work when it's just destined to most likely flop because we don't have the budget to go into so many different offers. So setting those expectations up with your clients right at the start, if they do come on board and they have multiple offers, 
Or even if you have been working with a client and they suddenly then go, okay, I want to do a five-day challenge. I want to do a boot camp. I want to do this X, Y, Z. You'll have to have a talk with them to go, okay, that's great. We can certainly test that. But in able to do that effectively, we would either need to pause the ads for this funnel over here to redirect the ad budget from this one over to here to give it a fair go, or you need to put that same amount of budget in over here. So they would need to then make that call. Do we want to pause the ads for this funnel, redirect the budget, or yes, sure, I've got another $100 a day. Let's run that over here and test and see how it goes. So I hope you found that useful. I know many of us have clients, and especially when we're in the course um, digital courses, um, coaches kind of space, there's often a different funnel and a different thing that's working and that their business coaches told them to do. Well, that's great, but it all comes back to what they have for their ad spend so that they can effectively test that funnel. So I hope you found this useful. Until next time, that's it for today. Bye for now.